Hey everyone, David Chen here, and I'm about to head to Winchester, Virginia with actor Stephen Tobolowsky because an Alamo Drafthouse Theater has graciously invited Stephen and I to attend a screening of the film that I directed starring Stephen, The Primary Instinct. And this is a pretty unique experience to be able to go to a screening of a film that one has directed, uh, do a Q&A. So I thought I'd vlog my experience, bring you along with me, and hope you enjoy it. So let's go. have rented this hot Toyota vehicle. I'm gonna use it to drive all the way up to Winchester, Virginia uh, and head to the Winchester Alamo Draft House for the screening tonight. Alrighty, after a couple hours driving from Charlottesville, Virginia to Winchester, Virginia, I'm at the Alamo Draft House in Winchester, Virginia. And this is very exciting for me. We do not have Alamo Draft Houses in Seattle. So I'm really looking forward to checking this place out, doing some press interviews and podcasts, and then getting ready for the screening. I'm here with actor Steven Tobolowski. He's been in uh, movies and TV shows like Memento, Groundhog Day, Silicon Valley, and at least like three more. Uh, we traveled across the country to be here for this screening. Yeah, that's right? amazing. What do you hope uh, people will get out of either the film or like our being here? Well, I think uh, the chin factor is, is you can't put a value on it. People love David so much where no no he says this he says this but everywhere like in dallas people were disappointed they had me they want david chen <laughs> there's always going to be one person that'll say the same thing happened to me even though it did that is always important that people so identify with the story that they see their life in my life right because i think that's kind of the experiment that I try to perform that if you I believe if you tell a true story rather than a story that's hyped up a little bit or dolled up a little bit if you tell a true story people are likely to hear their own life in that story even though they don't yeah I think there's this idea that like when you're telling a story be as specific as possible that resonates yeah it's less about the specific circumstances yes it's more about your lived experience of it yes because right? there's many aspects of your lived experiences that transfer across many things so. all right well we are super excited to be here and uh looking forward to all the awesome reactions and also the q a to the primary instinct I'm, I'm, at Alamo Draft House. i'm just noticing now because of my advanced years now when i try to smile I, I frown. Now yeah. I frown. So now no, you be self conscious about that. Next time you see an older person that they may look they may look upset, but they're actually trying to smile. They just have lost muscular abilities. This is to good do wisdom. That. Good wisdom, Stephen. So now we're gonna head to the screening. All right, so the movie screening's about to begin. You can see the audience behind us. Me and Steven are gonna do a little intro, and then uh, we're gonna screen the movie. That's should be, correct. Should be fun. Welcome, people! Woo! We are here tonight to celebrate two amazing individuals making amazing cinema. If you happen to be new here, we gather every week to watch foreign classic Indian cult films here at the Alamo Draft House. This is our 551st screening since partnering with the Alamo Draft House. Congrats. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Stephen Tobolowski, David Chen! First of all, I want to say thank you to everyone for showing up to this, yeah. um, taking Woo! a chance. Probably most of you haven't heard of this uh, movie before, or it, some people seem to think it has a weird title, I like it. Um, <laughs> but uh, this movie came about because 
Um, I asked Stephen to collaborate with me. I like went out on a lark, put myself out there, and he said yes. And um, you can decide tonight uh, whether or not that, the result of that was fruitful. But if so, uh, if you think it was fruitful, then I would say, uh, you know, take chances, right? Take chances with people, say yes when they ask you to collaborate, and go out and make things uh, that you are passionate about. Because, um, I mean, that's, that's, I guess, the lesson you should take from the, the meta point of this movie, if you like the movie. If you don't like the movie, just... You don't need to listen to the answer. <laughs> um, so, all that said, thank you so much. Enjoy the primary instinct. It was a really good crowd, you know? Everyone Fabulous. was really revved up, yeah. really enthusiastic, and the theater was basically sold out, so. We're out here in the lobby, because uh, we've already seen the movie like 50 times. <laughs> so, uh, no need to see it again. But um, looking forward to the Q&A afterwards, and then the signing of, uh, of Paraphernalia. So. Well, they have, they have a lot of our movies. Yeah. A lot of so this uh, is exciting. Yeah. And we're sitting here now planning our next venture. Yep. Good times. One more, David Chen! <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you for being here Thank with us you. tonight. You know, I should just say, working with Stephen is very intimidating because I've heard many stories of him saying, yeah, I was working with so-and-so. This guy's worked with... Ridley Scott, uh, Christopher Nolan, uh, many of the best directors of all time. And uh, he'll say like, yeah, I was working with so-and-so director and uh, he gave me these lines and I said, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I don't believe that this character would do that. And uh, so I was really worried something like that would happen for this well, movie. But, Steven, but, give, us your, <laughs> give us a story like that that's happened. Well, where you, where you, uh... We were doing Thelma and Louise. Okay. Is the first Bravo. one that comes to mind. We were doing Thelma and Louise, and so I'm the head of the FBI. I thought Ridley Scott was fantastic, because he treats all the actors as equals to him, and he goes like, so how do you see the, how do you see your part in the story? Well, what are you going to do in the story? What are you going to do in this scene? And he asks you and honors your opinion. And he told me, as head of the FBI, he wanted me to walk into the house, uh, and take over the room. Walk in and take over the room. And I go, yes, sir. And I had no idea what that meant. But I was intimidated by it, and so we rehearsed it, and so I did all the things that I saw people do on Law & Order. You know, the cops <laughs> on, all right, you know, you set up a wiretap on line A. You, you do this, and you do this, and you do this. And then uh, Ridley goes like, all right, all right, well, okay. That's good, let's shoot it. So I go outside and I hear, you know, ready, camera, and I hear the AD saying, are you ready? And, and I have this voice in my head saying, Stephen, that was really, really bad. I mean, that was so derivative and such crap. You've got to do something better than that. When you run a meeting, you don't go in there and say, you know, when it's a theater play, okay, John, you're the costumer, I want you to make costumes. And you know, Bridget, you're the lighting designer, really design those lights. <laughs> you don't do that. What do you do when you run a meeting? And, and then I hear the AD going, ready, ac ready, action. And then the voice in my head, snacks, it's snacks. That's what you do when you have a meeting. You plan snacks. So I walked in, I walked in and I came in and I go, all right, I'm going on a deli run. Uh, I'm gonna have the turkey and, and Russian dressing as usual. Anybody want anything from the deli? And all the guys who are FBI agents are looking at me and he goes, well, I'll have the turkey and uh, I'll have that too. And the guy goes, would you have a corned beef? Yeah. Uh, any cappuccinos? Anyone want a cappuccino and muffin? Anyone want a muffin? Yeah, I'll have a blueberry muffin. And yeah, yeah, give me the cappuccino and a donut. Well, I don't know if they have donuts, but I give you a muffin. Okay, a muffin. And I left. And then really Scott goes, cut! Brilliant! <laughs> Woo! 
So the screening is over, but we are in the lobby uh, signing DVDs and saying hi to fans and taking pictures. And there's a big line uh, and it's pretty awesome that people were really moved by the film and found it to be very powerful. Um, so we're gonna just do that with a few people and then uh, I think it's gonna be time to turn in after that. You were just so awesome. Oh, thank it you. It was so entertaining. I'm so glad. It just really, really was. I'm thrilled you liked oh, it. Oh my gosh. But you really enjoyed the film. Thank you. Yeah. We got tickets tomorrow. So. Excellent. Thank terrific, you. terrific. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. My pleasure. I was so entertained. I really was. I love the story of the film. And I think that's, that's wonderful. It really, it's a gift. It's a gift to look at your own situation through somebody else's lens. I, I agree 100%. I think that's why stories are holy. It's that they're separate, you know, it's a, a separate little truth that you can share, you know, with someone else too in a similar situation. Kind of it's like the door is locked and the thing that opens, the key that opens the door is the truth of the situation. Is that no one else can share unless they know that they've been in that situation themselves. Do you want your name up here? All right, Stephen, the night is ended. And it was a delightful meeting everyone. People were very moved by the film, you know? Um, they Again, found it very they, meaningful. Uh, you know, they applauded the film uh, before the film was over. We got a, a little bit of standing O as well. We that got was, a bit of standing O, but nice. we got... Uh, I like that standing O. Yeah. We, got, we got applause when the audience in the movie started applauding. Yeah. Which yeah. Was, was, was kind of nice. Well, uh, I'd say this is a big success. We had a really great time, and yeah. we are really grateful to be here at the Alamo Draft House in Winchester, Virginia. Thanks to Andy here. Thanks, Thanks to, Andy. to the man. Thank you so Thank much you. for making it all happen. Yeah. Oh my yeah, God. it was blessed. Thank Thanks. you for saying yes. Yeah. <laughs> all right, folks, David Chen here. Made it all the way back to my home studio here in Seattle and wanted to close out with a few things. First of all, we had such a great time in Winchester, Virginia at the Alamo Draft House. I wanted to thank Andy and all the fine folks there who made our stay really memorable, and especially all the fans who came out, watched the movie, and spoke to us afterwards. You guys were awesome, and uh, I hope you watching at home right now uh, had a good time coming along on the journey. Second thing I wanted to say is I filmed everything prior to this segment of the video using an iPhone XS Max. Wanted to try out how good this camera would be for vlogging. Uh, in general, I think it's pretty good, although basically in low light, uh, it can get pretty noisy and there's a lot of noise reduction and a lot of detail loss. Uh, but tell me what you think about the iPhone XS Max as a camera. Uh, sometimes I did use a separate audio recorder to get the audio good, uh, but hope you found it to be at least acceptable as a vlogging camera. And finally, I wanted to thank Mixed Tiles uh, for supplying the background for this video. Uh, Mixed Tiles is a cool company that designs these stick on your wall pictures uh, for relatively cheap. So if you want to check out their stuff, go to mixedtiles.com. And thanks to them for, uh, again, giving me this cool photo backdrop for this video and uh, future videos. All right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed coming along for the ride and thanks for watching this vlog. I definitely got a huge appreciation for how difficult it is to make a vlog. I would have done it differently if I had to do it over again. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Subscribe for more videos, reviews, and that sort of thing. And hit like if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.